I'm here in uh, Rompin and uh, what we're gonna do today is uh, arjing fishing and uh, I'm just like uh, everybody we talk about arjing fishing uh, first question comes to my mind is uh, what is arjing fishing? right now uh, as of I know is uh, just having a very light tackle fishing some small fish and that's all about it and uh, I really got zero idea what it is all about but today Luckily, and uh, we are very honored to have an expert here to, to coach us to, to share his little secret on uh, what arjing fishing is all about. And hopefully, we can go into details and get the audience to know better. Here we are, this is Dixon. Hi everyone, my name is Dixon. Now, he is the expert of uh, arjing fishing that I'm talking about today. Yeah, we'll Hi. be doing some nice boat arjing today. Hopefully we can get some Arji to show you guys more about what Arji is all about. Mm, and uh, yeah, just just as well, I'm talking to the audience, uh, what is Arji fishing actually? Like, uh, because uh, as of now, I only know uh, Arji fishing is just uh, having a light gear, fishing uh, a small fish. But uh, I, I saw you guys really enjoying. Mm. Can, can you share more about uh, Arji fishing with me? Sure. Uh, basically, Arji came from the term Arji. Uh, Ajis is what we call uh, Japanese horse mackerel. Uh, uh. So in, in Singapore, as you see, we don't have uh, this particular species of Japanese horse mackerel. Um, but we do have their cousin under the scat family, which is yellow tail scat, something that you can see on the uh, shirt. Okay, okay, uh, the pink eye scat, and of course we have the herring scat. And this, these are all falling under the scat family. So in Ajing, in this region, we are normally fishing for these few scats. Ah, okay, mm. okay, I see. Then, and you are not wrong by using a light draw and a lighter mm. line and everything. Because uh, actually, compared to normal fishing, we are still doing the same thing. Mm. It's just that we have scaled everything down lighter. A thinner rod, a thinner line, a smaller rail, you know. Mm. Uh, that, of course, we are catching a smaller fish. Mm. But we will be having the same kind of fun as uh, we are fishing on any other fishing trip. Mm. And of course, if you can catch a lot, 20, 30 a day, you will feel tired. Oh. Go on and on. Yeah, yeah, so this is yeah. why arjing fishing is getting more and more popular. Mm. Yeah, as compared to you know fishing one big groupers. Yes, you yes. know I'm I'm out of energy after. Yeah, maybe ones. like two or three <laughs> big, you know, ten over kg groupers. Yeah, you know you almost call it a day. But uh. arjing fishing you can go on and on because your tackle itself is light. You know, casting it a whole day you will not make you feel tired, and landing the fish will not make you feel tired. Mm. You're still using the same technique as fishing and other fish but you're using less muscle, so it's not as tired. Ah, uh, yeah, enjoyable at the same time. Yes, enjoyable too. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Can, can you explain more about the gear, like, the details? Because uh, as of now, we only know light tackle. Right. But how light is? Like, maybe 1,000 reels, 2,000 reels, what, what kind of lines are you using? Sure. Uh, as you can see, I brought along my own tackle. Mm. Okay, this is a very uh, thin rod, but mostly we are going for something that is more sensitive. Okay. Yeah, more sensitive That's because the jig head we are using ranges from uh, zero for something grams to four grams. Okay. But normally on boat arjing we will use something heavier because uh, it's deeper and the current is stronger as well. Mm. So uh, today we'll be using a 3.5 gram jig head okay. mm, together with a uh, soft plastic about 1.8 inch. Um. And line line itself uh, we range from one gram, two grams to three grams. So today I'll be using something called a 2.3 gram polyester line. Okay, polyester, okay. okay. Is there an advantage uh, for using a polyester line? Uh, yes, there is but, a certain uh, advantage compared to uh, E line or we call it braided line. Uh, of course, braided line has its own advantages. Uh, but for polyester line, because uh, this particular polyester line we're using, the density of this thing is 1.38 which is uh, compared to seawater. So in a way, it sinks. It, sinks. it helps us sink our jig head. Okay, okay. So you can uh, so-called direct uh, contact. Yes, direct contact with the fish. Mm. But of course, the uh, line has an advantage as well. Especially if you're fishing around some structure, structural place that will jump or shipwreck. The right? EE will be more resistant. I mean, okay. it can, it can uh, withstand abrasion. Mm. Uh, and the line, of course, is more sensitive. Okay. Polyester tends to stretch as well. But the stretching also sometimes gives us an additional advantage on fighting the fish. Ah, mm, so okay, okay, all right. Okay, that's good. That's, that's a lot of sharing. 
and of course uh, I'm sure Dixon has more like the action of uh, working the jig, uh, working the jig head and uh, what kind of soft plastic should we use okay let's, let's not waste so much time let's jump into it Okay, normally after we get the fish, there's a few ways to treat the fish. Of course, EKG mei is one of them, where you spike them through the brain. You know? And the other way is, uh, of course, we bleed them by cutting them off the gills to let them bleed out in a pail of water. So the other way of doing it is, uh, what we do is called a slurry. One part of ice and one part of seawater, and we dunk the fish straight in. Hold it there for a few seconds. That's how we do it. And after about the end of the day, we will pack them up in a nice zip bag. Make sure it doesn't come in contact with any of the chlorine in the ice. And that will keep your fish fresh for your next cooking session. Yes, it is my first one. Hello, uh, such small fish can bring so much fun. Exactly. <laughs> That's why many of us is hooked on this game. Yeah. It's my first time trying and it's all good. I'm really uh, enjoying it. For first timer, you're doing very well. <laughs> oh, thank you. Grab the leader, and there we have it. Wow, Dixon, it seems like you're really the expert today. No, I don't think I'm really the expert. Yeah. It's just that I waste more time fishing than most of the people. <laughs> that, uh, you know, water time is very important to understand the fish and the game itself. That's correct. Looks That's like correct. you had some fun as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm really having a lot of fun. Especially for size, this kind of fish, I'm very amazed by the, the fighting spirit that the fish can give us. Yes. 
Yeah, and uh, with such a light tackle, I think it really put on a hell lot of fight. Mm. Yeah, I thank you, thank you for uh, giving me uh, such a wonderful knowledge and the audience as well. Mm. I think uh, you guys and me, uh, of course, we we take away a lot of little secrets today from you. Yeah, we want to thank you for that. Well, of course, I want to thank uh, Rapala Southeast Asia for inviting me here to share some yeah. tips and tricks with you guys. Uh, to play with this fun little fish. Uh, happy fishing. Yeah, I'll see you again. See you.